quality title race of all time. But coming out on top again in the Premier League, Manchester City. I was really hoping that the first episode of this new season would uh, be a little bit more upbeat and uh, joyful than than this is. Um, if you've come to watch a happy, joyful, energetic video, you may click off now because <laughs> this is it's not what this is going to be. It's uh, it's not what this is going to be. So, ladies and gentlemen, the uh, first weekend of the Premier League is over, and uh, Frank Lampard's Chelsea have got off to. I'd say the worst possible start. We knew going into this game against Manchester United that it was going to be a difficult game. Man United are no slouch of a side. Uh, we've made fun about them in the past, but ultimately they are Manchester United. They've had, as I said in my predictions video, a very, very good transfer window, and they have a lot of quality all around the pitch. However, really? Four, like four, four nil. Four, four, four nil. Oh my god! See, one thing that this result is going to do is uh, heap a lot of media pressure on Frank Lampard, and that's not ideal. It's just not ideal. So early on in the season, and I did say that um, this game against United was more important than just a first game of the season. Um, it's. It's likely that this will have a knock-on effect for the next couple of games. We have to play the European champions on Wednesday in the Super Cup. I fear that massively. Massively. Let's get into it then. Realistically, right, this game was kind of split up into a lot of different uh, sections. And I'd say the first section of the game, first 15 minutes or so, I felt like Chelsea did well. Dominated a lot of the ball. Um, we're getting chances, we're moving around nicely, we're pressing Man United high, but ultimately weren't really, um, you know, of any massive threat, I would have said. And then, they say goals change games, and that was certainly uh, the case. Um, Marcus Rashford fouled by Kurt Zuma. So fucking clumsy. Oh my god. It's it's so clumsy. All he needs to do is stand up. Just don't let him shoot. Don't let him shoot. Don't dive in. Like don't dive in. And I think that Kurt Zuma was one massive negative about Chelsea today. He was shocking, shocking. He doesn't need to make that tackle, and it wasn't the first time either that he made mistakes. He was giving the ball away cheaply, and he just didn't look. He didn't look comfortable, did he? He just didn't. And Marcus Rashford, what a fucking penalty it was to give Man United the lead. And that's how it was at half time, and then it just kind of fell apart altogether, didn't it? Uh, really, really did. A lot of people at half time kind of said that Chelsea were overall in the first half probably the better team and unlucky to be behind, and it was a mistake that you know cost the goal. Then Martial makes a two, good cross on the right hand side. He gets in the wrong side of Aspilicueta to make it two, and then. Seven, 17 seconds. 17 seconds after the restart. You can see the third. Like, there's one thing making mistakes, right? As long as you learn from them. But one thing you should have as a professional footballer is a bit of fucking concentration. Yes, you conceded a goal. It's disheartening. It's not ideal, obviously. But don't switch. Cesar Aspilicu switches off. Switches off, and Rashford puts it in for three. He's quick. He's very quick, Marcus Rashford. Why are you going to play a high line and leave so much space for one of the quickest players, if not the quickest player on the pitch, to run into? It's beyond me. It's absolutely beyond me. And then the fourth happened. And uh, just shambolic defending again. Daniel James got the goal. Uh, he kind of it looked like the chance was getting away from him, but he still managed to squeeze it in past uh, Kepa. 
to make it 4-0 and that is how it's finished. Uh, wow, it's... Wow. We're back! <laughs> we're, we're, um, we're well and truly back, aren't we? Uh, so many negatives. So many negatives to take out today. The defending was shocking. I've, I've mentioned Kurt Zoom already. I've mentioned Cesar Aspilicueta. Emerson was decent enough going forward and getting back as well. I thought he was alright. I didn't have too many problems with him. Um, Andres Christensen looked alright, as you know, not too hard to do, but he was the better of the two centre halves. Um, but just a lack of leadership, and I think that's what we've lost in David Luiz more than anything else. Obviously, he's gone to Arsenal now for eight million pounds, um, and. Yeah, I think that's that's just one. And look, we do have Antonio Rudiger coming back, and to a degree, yes, he is a leader. But uh, we're lacking that. We were really lacking that today. Aspilicueta is the captain. Do you know what I mean? He should be leading by example. He sh he shouldn't be making mistakes. He's an experienced player. He should not be making. How long is he at Chelsea now? Seven or eight years. He like, he should not be making them kind of mistakes, man. Like fuck. And as a captain, you have that. The, the onus is on you to lead by example and inspire the rest of the team, you know what I mean? And what inspiration are the other team gonna get out the rest of the team gonna get out of that? Do you know what I mean? Like it was it was poor. Positives out today. Emerson did very well I thought at left back and was probably our biggest attacking threat. He hit the woodwork. Tammy Abraham started up front and also hit the woodwork. Um apart from that, uh not not great. Kovacic and Jorginho to be fair to them, um, and I criticised Jorginho a lot of it for last season, um, when he got the ball he passed it sideways, he passed it backwards, but today in fairness to him he was getting the ball in midfield, he was trying to be positive, he was trying to pass it forward, trying to do the right things, but they didn't always come off, so I can't really fault, just the real blame has to go on that defence, it really does, it's it's so bad, it was so, so bad, like really rookie errors, and the kind of like, are 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 we a mid-table club now? Is this um is this what we're gonna be? I think this is gonna be a hard season, lads. I think it's gonna be a very hard season, especially if we keep playing like that. Um, positives are that we have a lot of players still out injured and that are coming back and will strengthen the side and will come into the side. William didn't start today. Will probably start usually. Um, Callum Hudson will die as well. In an ideal world, in probably your best team, he would start. Ruben Loftus Cheek is another one he would start as well. Um, obviously, as I mentioned, Antonio Rudiger and Golo Kante isn't 100% fit. He came on today. Um, we missed him dearly in the middle of that midfield. Although, you know, Jorginho and Kovic did all right. They're still not in Golo Kante, and you're you're missing that quality with him out of the team. But uh, credit where credit's due. Well done to Manchester United. An incredible performance. Uh, I think the biggest difference between the two teams, United were very clinical in front of goal, took their chances when they came, and Chelsea didn't. And when you put, uh, when you combine sort of, you know, clinical strikers, which they had today in Rashford and Martial, and that's one criticism I've had of them two in particular the last couple of seasons, they were very clinical today. And when you have that mixed with incompetent defending and lack of leadership and just bad mistakes, it's... A recipe for disaster. It really is. Um, and it was. It was a fucking disaster. It was humiliating. It was absolutely humiliating. But United have shown that uh, they're not messing around this season. be interesting to see how well they can do now from here on in. But as I've said, credit where credit's due. They were far better than us just going forward. And far better all around the pitch today. And no one can deny that. <sighs> Heads up. Where do we go next? We've got Liverpool next in the uh, UEFA Super Cup on Wednesday evening, so I might make a verdict on that after the game. Uh, you may have noticed I uh, haven't spoken about any other of the results from this weekend. That's because I felt like this, the, the Chelsea match by itself did, like had enough in it to be one video, so the, like hopefully from now on we won't have to talk about Chelsea so much that we can include more of the teams, but uh, I just felt like this video today needed to just be about Chelsea. I needed to get my thoughts out there. Um, so yeah, Liverpool next in the Super Cup on Wednesday, followed by Leicester in the league next weekend. But uh, 
yes, thank you guys so much for watching season three of the verdict up and running. It's been a depressing one, but uh, yeah, decided to have this series back. It's one of my favorites. So yeah, leave a like if you have enjoyed on the video and subscribe if you're new with notifications on. And I will catch you later. You train too hard, yeah oh, That's how you're gonna fall, yeah Don't let them change up who you are, yeah Cause you know who you are, yeah, yeah You train too 